Oceans 2011 in Kona, Big Island, Hawaii. And we are in the ice breaking opening ceremony. It's the best place to be right now, where all every people around the world come to see the conference and talk about the oceans worldwide. The icebreaker is fantastic. There's a great turnout, lots of people from different places. It's it's awesome. There's a really good vibe. I like the people. Like the Hello, my name is Mike Utzler and I'm BP's Gulf Coast Restoration Organization's president. I'm here today at the IEEE MTS uh, conference as a keynote speaker for the opening of this very important effort. And from BP's perspective, given the events that occurred in April 20th of 2010 in the Gulf of Mexico, we believe it's imperative that we listen, that we share our learnings, and that we engage the scientific community in such a way that we collectively can take these lessons learned and expand them, not only as an industry, but across the globe in ways to support. And this conference is a critical gathering of the best scientific minds associated with the oceans around the globe and that opportunity to share those learnings, to share those experiences, and to ensure that we go forward uh, in a way that truly takes those lessons and we learn from them. Here at Oceans, we are presenting uh, a new technology wherein we've integrated the base system, a remotely operated vehicle made by Deep Ocean Engineering, with sonar processing technology from Oceanic Imaging Consultants. I believe it is. Uh, we've been to many, many ocean conferences around the world, and uh, it is a good venue. A lot of papers, uh, more so than exhibits, uh, but the quality of the uh, attendees is pretty high, and they're, they're out looking at new technologies, and we want to be able to show them some. What you're looking at is an ROV here that has a camera on it, and as Bill has pointed out, Although in our clear, pristine Hawaiian waters, the camera is quite useful. In the real world, quite often the waters are, well, too thin to plow and too thick to drink. You simply can't see through them. So we use acoustic technology, a sonar, that performs very well, giving you a near video-like representation of the seabed at a much greater range than would be possible with optics. My name is Dick Butler. I'm with Andera Data Instruments. I run the North American operation for a Norwegian company, which is now part of ITT. We participate in the Oceans conferences because we're here to make new contacts within scientific and research institutes, government agencies, and we're networking with our colleagues. Uh, we do a lot of OEM sensor supply to other uh, manufacturers for AUVs, ROVs, on buoys and mooring programs. And Andera, being a company that's been in the industry for 66 years, is one of the oldest oceanographic firms in uh, the international business community. I'm John Wiltshire, the General Chair of the Oceans 11 Conference here in Kona, Hawaii. 
and our conference has just been outstanding. We have a, an attendance of about 1,500, which is, is more than we were hoping for. And, and we, ha we had a record number of abstracts for this conference, 750, which is more than any Oceans conference has had beforehand. We had several dozen other uh, functions associated with the conference and are just in overwhelmed with the, the attendance and the enthusiasm and the contacts that have been made. It's uh, really quite uh, amazing for us. <laughs> Uh, we, we had a, a, an amazing gala with an attendance of a thousand people where we had a special hula troupe do uh, local ethnic dancing from, from this island and from other islands. I like to listen to my heart, no place I'd rather be. Oh, my God. 